Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance is a book written and published in 1974 by the author Robert M. Piercig. I was first given a copy of this book because I bought a motorcycle and my father gave it to me. It was basically a cult classic in the 70s and 80s, which a lot of motorcycle riders or anyone who rode a motorcycle owned this book. What is amazing about this story is it's not just, as the writer says, oh, my dreams ago. It's not a book about Zen Buddhism, and it's definitely not a book about uh, <laughs> repairing motorcycles. It is about the mes metaphysics of quality. So, And of course, the writer also describes that quality is an undefinable definition. And it's basically a story that's meant to be exploring the inner self. And what I love about the story, it's, you know, as a motorcycle rider, it's something about getting out of the city, forgetting technology, even, obviously, this, <clears throat> and finding yourself again, and finding yourself in the countryside. So this story explores over 17 days when a father, a son, and a married couple, known as the Sutherlands, explore from Minnesota, and they go to Northern California. Um, also in the story, what I what I do love about this, oh, Trinity's gone, is that um, the father he's an unnamed character, so he he's never given a name, but he does have a, a kind of an alter ego in the past, where he reflects on this past self known as Phaedrus, and Phaedrus that name comes from a reference from um, Plato. Um, so it was basically a story that Plato wrote of a conversation between Phaedrus and Socrates written in uh, 370 BCE of uh... and it, it kind of discusses um, the art of rhetoric and love, erotic love and you know, general Greek things back then <clears throat> And while this book, it really does focus on the movement of thoughts, it also alludes a lot to just, you know, traveling and motorcycles. And as, again, as a motorcycle rider, it, uh, it is appealing to anyone who wants to discover something about yourself and to go on a journey. Sorry. So while it did take him four years to write this story, two of those years he spent uh, apparently writing uh, for doing work on computer maintenance, maintenance manuals. So he would write in the hours between uh, 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. And he would sleep on his lunch hour as well. So the years that I've spent personally being a motorcycle rider, um, you know, I, I read this book, I reflected on it. It is something that anyone who wants to buy a motorcycle and as someone who owns a motorcycle and been told that the best way to go about buying a motorcycle is Honda, obviously. And even the, the father in the story, he rides a... He has a CB77, so th that model of bike was built between 61 and 67, <clears throat> and it was actually known as Honda's first uh, s sports bike, and aka is called the Superhawk. And my bike, obviously, is the 1983 CB450SC, the Nighthawk, Anakin, the love of my life. So, and... I just want to give you a quick excerpt of the story, just so you can kind of feel how I feel when I'm on my bike. So, you see things vacationing on a motorcycle in a way that is completely different from any other. In a car, you're always in a compartment. And because you're used to it, you don't realize that through the car window, everything you see is just more TV. You're a you're a passive observer. 
and that is all moving by you in, in, boringly in a frame. On a cycle, the frame is gone. You're completely in contact with it all. You're in the scene, not just watching it anymore, and the sense of presence is overwhelming. The concrete whizzing by five inches below your foot is the real thing. The same stuff you walk on, it's right there. So blurred you can't focus on it. Yet, you can put your foot down and touch it in any time. And the whole thing, the whole experience, is never removed from immediate consciousness. I love this book. But I love motorcycles more. <laughs> uh, one thing I've done over the years, uh, I've written my own stories and I've just taken notes, basically. So I've got uh, basically my journals while being a motorcycle rider. And the reason I brought this video up today is because the first snowfall happened in Toronto. And it's the first snow that is definitely going to stay. And of course, as a motorcycle rider, the S word is the worst word of all. So here's a little excerpt from my first year riding a bike. This could be my very last day riding this year. Well, at least on Anakin. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm heading back to the city. I've managed pretty well to be a lone rider these last few months. It was certainly amazing, especially for learning a lot about myself ment mentally and physically. A few days ago, I deliberately drove into a snowstorm for the thrill. Damn, it was cold. Managed to get frostbite on my, my throttle hand. I no longer depict them as left and right, but clutch and throttle, since I'm cool like that. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to read that part because that's X-rated. <clears throat> right now, I'm sitting in a gazebo overlooking a lake with a, with a ski lodge. I wish I could have experienced these roads. Oh, I'm also going to skip this part. Also in that snowstorm, I had to make a bathroom stop and couldn't see a thing. I had to have the gloves pried off me and I was so frozen. I'll miss the pavement caressing me and the smell of oil and gas each time I accidentally get myself get on myself because I'm kind of reckless, obviously. Oh, and a bird nearly killed me today as it flew between me and my windshield. Yeah, this bird went here. Me. Windshield. Bird. Terrifying. But riding a motorcycle, it is freedom. Uh... I, I've loved bikes ever since I watched uh, Return of the Jedi and saw the, the whole forest moon of Endor scene with Luke and Leia chasing that stormtrooper, or the, the patrol trooper, I guess, on the speeder bikes. And even my father, of course, like, he has a bike, and his bike's name is Luke, which, of course, you can see where the Star Wars influence has come from. Um, that being said... I'll uh, continue on with my, my speeders and my motorcycles. And if you're going to buy a motorcycle, buy a Honda. They are great bikes, especially the, the new CBS F F FX that's come out. They're just gorgeous. <clears throat> oh, actually, the Honda Rebel. That is gorgeous. The new one that's come out, it, it's very... It's got this like this sense and this beauty and like I could just smell it when I look at it. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. I'm kind of ranting. Um, if you want to take a look more of my motorcycle journeys, because even Vader has come with me. This Vader is my traveling Vader. You can take a look at my pictures on Instagram, so it's at least a mountain, and Twitter, and of course on Facebook as well. That being said. Let's continue drinking some beer and reading some more books and let's ride some motorcycles.